Hi, I'm Suzanne Schütz, and this is Cat Sounds Explained by Cat Lady Sweden. And this time, we're going to talk about the purr. Now, cats purr when they are happy, when they are content, when they are relaxing, cuddling, snuggling, when they're grooming, but also when they are hungry and when they are stressed, anxious or nervous, for instance, when they are entering a new environment and when they're in pain or sick. So it's possible that purring is sort of a self-soothing behavior to relieve stress or even pain. And depending on the context, purring can mean I'm no threat to you or please leave everything as it is, keep on doing what you're doing. There are a number of accompanying body postures and movements. When the cat is content, the body is relaxed, the cat can be lying down, like down here, or in this picture up here. But if the cat is anxious or stressed, the body is more tense and the tail can be upright or held high, but it can also be slowly flicking or lashing if the cat is a bit nervous or anxious. And there are two other accompanying movements which I would like to show you a few examples of. One is kneading or making biscuits and the other one is cheek rubbing. So I have a few videos here. This one to the left is Vim San who is kneading while she is uh, standing and she is purring at the same time although it's very very quiet. In the next video, uh, you can see the paws of Grey White when she's lying down in my husband's lap, actually, and purring quite softly. And the last video to the right, we have purring while cheek rubbing or scent marking and this is Rocky who's a bit nervous because he's not been in this room too many times lately so he's trying to walk around and check it out and trying to make it feel more safe for him so he's purring and scent marking at the same time. Some more facts about purring. When cats purr, the mouth can be either completely closed or slightly open. We have an image of a completely closed mouth here. And you can see down here that the mouth is slightly open. You can see the teeth in this picture here. Purring can go on for a very long time, several minutes. So it's a very, very long sound. And it's probably produced in the vocal folds. They are vibrating at a very, very low frequency, about 20 hertz. And this goes on both during inhalation and exhalation. So it's not really done in the same way as other vocalizations are produced, like meowing, for instance. Purring is mostly voiceless, and it is a regularly vibrating or rumbling sound, which is very, very soft. So it's used mainly in intimate situations. The sound doesn't travel very far. If I were to categorize purring phonetically, I would probably say something like it's a typically voiceless laryngeal trill, which is produced in both ingressive and egressive pulmonic airflow. And purring sounds a bit like a softly creaking door or the rattle of chains, like something like that. There are two subtypes of purring. I believe there are some audible differences between the closed mouth purring, which sounds softer, smoother, and sometimes it's so quiet you can't hear it. You have to touch the cat to feel the vibrating body. And sometimes, if you're lucky, you can hear soft, soft crunch or rattle. The slightly open mouth purring occurs when the cat is a bit more excited or anxious and the purring becomes louder, breathier and sometimes even includes some snorting. I'll give you a few examples of closed mouth purring, the softer, smoother kind. We have one audio example here.
And in the video to the left, we have Donna, who's purring with her mouth closed, as you will see. And to the right, we have Little Grey, this cat's name is, and he is also purring very, very softly. And you can almost hear this rattling noise. And you can see that his mouth is closed as well. Now the slightly open mouth purring sounds a bit louder and breathier. I'll play you an audio example now. And in the video to the left we have Rocky who's purring with a slightly open mouth as he's simultaneously scent marking, rubbing his cheek against the lamp. And you can also see the nervous licking of the lips as well. To the right, we have a very excited Turbo. He is so happy that I'm scratching his neck. So he's opening his mouth a bit and purring. And it sounds a bit breathier, like this. There are purr combinations as well. One common is the purr trilling, where purring is mixed with trilling. So sometimes it Every inhale is a purr and every exhale is a trill. You know, this brrr kind of sound. I have one example of that to the left. It's Donna who's purr trilling. Did you hear that? Every second trill was voiced, so there was some trilling going on. And in the next one, there's purr meowing or purr squeaking in this case. Again, it's Dana who is excited. She is in my lap. She wants to cuddle, wants to snuggle and meows to solicit attention and affection whilst purring. So to sum up, purring is a very intimate sound and it's often well-being, but not always. It can be sign of stress or even pain and it's characterized by a very very long soft and voiceless regular vibrations or rumbling sounds purring is often used to signal well-being but it can also signal that the cat is hungry anxious nervous or even in pain it's also possible that this is a self-soothing behavior that these vibrations help ease off the pain or the anxiety. Two subtypes, the closed mouth purring and the slightly mouth open purring. And of course, there are combinations with trilling and meowing. I just want to finish off by playing you this video of Piper and her kittens. And you can almost feel the intimateness of this scene where there's a lot of purring going on. You can read more about purring in my book, The Secret Language of Cats, which is available in several languages. Or you can visit my project website, meowzik.se, where you can listen to and also watch more examples of purring and other cat sounds. Thanks for watching Cat Sounds Explained by Cat Lady Sweden.